Hey it's your boy Mr. XP here back with another video on the channel. We're back again with a new game. Uh we're playing Still Wakes the Deep. Uh this game was really dope. I remember hearing about it a couple months ago last year and I remember playing uh we're not playing last year, I think it was um I'm thinking back in two thousand and twenty two I saw clips of this. I didn't know what game this was, but it was seen really cool. And to really sit here and play this, it's really another game for me to have fun with. But before I get into it, go ahead and please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm guessing now Google's gonna have to start now marking uh, marking my channel for not saying that. So you guys could go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel and comment down below what's your favorite part. Um, as we're continuing uh, the rest of the gameplay walkthrough for the future games I have coming soon on the channel and Flintlock, uh, we're going to have to start doing that. So in the intro, I'm going to have to start saying please like and subscribe to the channel and stuff like that. So right now, we're going to go ahead and play the beginning parts of Still Wakes the Deep. Uh, one of the things that I do like that I kind of noticed uh, when the game did come out, or when it got announced, oh, I have to press and hold X. When the game first got announced back then, and I had first saw it, I was just wondering, like, what game is this? And I wanted to know that how the game would be, because it's really awesome, and I feel like it's a game that's based off of, like, Cloverfield, like a movie like Cloverfield. But I hope that's really uh, special. And it would be really cool to see how the game would uh, turn out to be because I feel like there better be creatures, bro. Like, I'm telling you, we need a creature game or like an alien kind of game and stuff like that. Just an inch faster. So, that's that. I like how we could actually change the font format, too. That's really cool. I give it this font because I want to give it like a... a a vintage feel make you feel like you're on the oil rig back in 1975 because that's where the game takes place it takes place in 1975 on the oil rig in the middle of the ocean and trust me it's lots of fun yeah yellow oh you can't put green okay i settle for yellow all right Sounds, character tone, sound effects. Yeah. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and start playing Still Wakes the Deep. This game is all oh, good lord. You guys probably can't see it, but for me, it's uh, different. Please tell me there's a copyright button for the music. Yeah. Oh. So like, hold on. We have two diff We have three different settings. Standard, balance, challenge, speed to survive. Story reduces the fear of death. Whoa! So wait, there's only two set settings. You have normal and hard. Whoa. But we're gonna put it on story because we're playing the gameplay walkthrough just to, you know, experience the game and understand what's going on. Because if you put it on standard, it's going to be too hard for me to focus, but also get distracted super easy. So we're going to leave it on story. Uh, we already did that. All right? Yeah, we already did that settings. We already did video. Oh, performance, quality. Let's see it on quality first, and then we during the gameplay walkthrough, we go ahead and change it to performance mode. Before we completely turn off the audio. What is it? Here is the shipping forecast for 0630 on Tuesday, December the 23rd, 1975. First, gale warnings. There are warnings of... Oh, I was about to say, what is that audio? Okay, so it seems like, hold on. 
So wait, there's no... Change the audio to that. Headphones. So we can hear everything. Southwesterly 6 to Gale 8. Occasionally severe Gale 9 at first. And if you listen closely to in the headphones, it was actually, if you watch the gameplay walkthrough with the headphones, the audio changes in headphones too. That's one thing I had just noticed. I'm like, what is that talking? Yeah, alright, so we got to turn the music down. I'll put it to 15 so I can hear it. Or 20. So I can hear the music. Because it's literally, I don't want to get in trouble for copyright. Okay, so it's going to give me the controls as I'm playing. Alright. Alright, so we saved those settings. Let's play on quality and see how it feels. Then if not, then we go ahead and switch to performance mode. Yeah. So we're good to go. So let's go ahead and start. It's probably too bright on your guys' side. From the recorder because it looks very bright when I look down so maybe I might fix that after just like I did uh our e4 what are you thinking going to that place wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess but you did you can't run forever I know you were just trying to do right by me so I need you to do what's right by us now please cars I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be over. I want you home. The girls want you home, but... If you don't deal with this, then we are done for good. I love you. But I won't wait forever. Suze. Jesus, Suze. Girls made you a Christmas card. <laughs> ah, fuck. Merry fucking Christmas. Kaz, Roy's finishing up breakfast if you want something. I'll, I'll be there in a minute, Trots. Aye, well, didn't wait too long or someone will be up with you. Aye. Yeah, all right. All right. You ready to get put into it? This is so cool. Okay. Oh wow, so you have to actually go into like a whole different screen. You actually stay in the same screen. It just fades to black every time you click on it. That's all. Uh, sorry, get off. So yeah. Right, so there's nothing on the radio. Everything's a bit slow, but we could figure it out as we go. No. Oh wow, you actually have to stand by the door. This is the map, okay. Alright, so we have to go to the, I guess, the cafeteria. So, I guess there's uh, different people Not here. Quite right, Tross. Look like there's different people here on the oil rig, too. So, or the newspaper. So, anyway, let's go ahead and continue where we need to go. That door's locked. Oh, 
Oh wow. And the roof looked like the roof too from school. This you know when you go to you know when you go to school and you have like those uh what do you call it kind of roofs that are like those panel roofs yeah they look just like it that's really cool alright Davey must have gone back on shore last night All right, Kaz. I'm all right. What are you doing up there? Pipes leaking. If it's not one thing, it's the other. See this old rig? It's a pile of shite. It's falling apart. And we've only just started drilling. Fucking Cadal. And fucking Rennick cutting corners. Aye. Speaking of, you are in the shite, wee man. Rennick got a letter this morning from the mainland and he's been up to high dough ever since. Heard he's gunning for you. That's just brilliant. Christ, I need a smoke. Can I find my lighter anywhere? Take mine. I don't need it anymore, honestly. You're a fucking lifesaver. I'm going to get breakfast. All right. I'll see you for darts tonight. We'll put a wee picture of Rennick up on the board for you. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. See ya. All right. Oh, good lord. Nope, we can't see that. Fought <coughs> <coughs> over here, taking a shower. Alright. Well, this is cozy. It's Christmas, it's December. It's music season, really, during uh, December here on the oil rig back in 1975 so that's why everything look old school in a way let's see this bastards mm. this is kind of looking wrong okay so we could run so Hey, hey. I thought that was a little grill someone had. All right. <laughs> Go down to the canteen, the cafeteria. Yeah. Okay. So, it looked like we have to go around different parts of the ship. Okay, canteen. A.K.A. the cafeteria. Find the stairs down to the canteen. Okay. I went right instead of left. Because I want to explore. Stop skin disease. Engines. Let's explore. If anything, we just go ahead and cut to where I get there. All the people on the oil rig darts tournament. Oh, wow. You only made it to the, the quarterfinals and the semifinals. And you were in the uh, second round. So this is probably where everybody has fun in the uh, in the little uh, rec room. The door is locked. Oh, it doesn't show anything for this one. That's funny. Alright, so, alright, let's just stay focused, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back the other way, so yeah, let's just kind of get to it, 
I don't want to run because the quality was start dropping frame rate. So let's just go ahead and just focus on what we need to do. Deck. This area is blocked. But this look like there's a hallway on the other side. Look, there's no escaping. There's going to be a dozen mere rigs up here by the end of next year because the pricks in Westminster want their grubby wee hands on Scotland's oh, oil. Christ, no this again. The bear is already down to the bare bones. And Cadal are just going to make more cuts to get other rigs on the go. If we don't take industrial action soon, oh, this place... Oh, come on! If we don't take industrial action soon, this place will be even more of a death trap than it already is. He's got a point, though, Gibble. We're down to a skeleton crew in the pontoons, and it's ropey as fuck down there. Workers of the world unite! What do you think, Kaz? <sighs> I don't know. Just here to fix the lecky. <laughs> what do you think will be keeping the lights on if this place falls apart? That's coal, you numpty! <laughs> <laughs> Boys. No bad, Kaz. Raf's here's a bit shaky, though. Gonna be the lad's first solo dive this morning. Is that right? Ah, you'll be all right, pal. Especially with the big man here looking out for you. Have you done it before? Christ, no. I'll stick to the lecky, thanks. No great in tight spaces, and it's blowing a gale out there. Really filling the lad with confidence there, Kaz. Yeah, sorry, wee man. Don't worry about it. Brody's got you. All right, so we at least get to meet some of the other characters here in the game. Can we talk to these guys over here? What is that? Discount sausage and eggs. What is that? Grilled beans for breakfast. Enjoying your last day, McCleary. What's that supposed to mean? You've been a naughty boy from what I've heard. Ah, give peace. You're not exactly an angel yourself, are there? I'll be fine. Well, you'll not be missed. You wouldn't know a day's graft if it slapped you in the face. <laughs> I'd like to see you try and do my job. You wouldn't know a spark plug from a fucking hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your mouth, McCleary. <laughs> Alright. Now let's get our breakfast and let's see what happens. <clears throat> Hey, Roy. Cars, my old mucker. I do. McClary, to my office. That means no, not as soon as you're ready. No. Ah, the sweet sound of Davy Rennick. You think it's the Paulus? Can't be surprised, Cars. You hear from Sue's? She's talking about divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, Cars. She'll come around. Not if I get the jail, she won't. Well, maybe you could have considered that while you were battering Billy Chamberlain's head in. Cunt slagged off, Susie. Had it coming. And there he is. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee, and swears like the devil himself. Listen, mate, even if it is the polis, maybe it's best to just go back and face it, yeah? Ugh, I don't know, Roy. I'm fucking scun up with the whole thing. The Lord loves you, mate, no matter what. And I'm pretty sure Sue's does too. That's all clear for you now, Roy. Lovely job, thanks, Dobby. Oh, Trot says he's left your insulin in your cabin. Oh, bless his little communist socks. Muchly appreciated. Ta. Remember, life is like football. It's not over until the final whistle. Aye, but you're a Barnsley fan, so you're pretty much fucked from the off, right? Oh, I will see you hand for that, McCleary. Off you trot, lad, before his nibs blows a gasket. All right. Got my first achievement. All right, let's see this real quick. I hope there's some leftovers. All right. Now, where we need to head to now? Follow the signs to the deck. Exit. Crew lounge, lockers. All right. The, home sweet home. the different areas of the oil rig. Alright. I probably memorize this to know where we need to go sometimes. But I bet you there's going to be like a map we might get later on. 
because the game can't be just only in a like when I mean only first person there should be like a there should be like a uh, what do you call it uh, a mini map that we could get because I didn't see a mini map during the thing I, when they were showcasing the game at the Xbox showcase event they didn't showcase uh what do you call it they didn't show a, a mini map <laughs> whoa This is so cool. We never had a game like this before. I'm surprised we have a game like this now. Alright, you know, actually before we continue, let's see how the game looks now in performance mode. Let's try that. Now that we see what the game looks like in quality, let's see how it looks in performance mode. Oh, look how smooth the setting feels. Whoa. Okay, so performance mode, is it makes it a little bit less choppy. Run away down to the lower deck. All right. I'm all right to get by, pal. It's all right. You have to go around, cards. All right. Hold oh, right trigger and grip the ladder. Anything around here? But there might be something over here. Just think about it. And you run so slow. That's one thing I noticed. Oh no, this is the way we came. There's nothing over here. Alright. You just run so slow. But it's so much fun that we actually have a game that takes place like this in the middle of the ocean. All right, now let's see this. The lower deck. All right, that's where we're here. Oh, so we gotta go around that stairs or open that gate area. Go to the crew lift. Need a hand there, fellas. A clearing. No, I can scale find this hero by myself. <laughs> no, we're all right. Cheers, though. Fair enough. You want to transfer here, McCleary? You give me less lip. No. He loves it. McCleary! My office. I don't make me ask again. In a better mood today, is he? It'll be all right, guys. You get used to it. We all get done. Try not to punch him. <laughs> no promises. All right. Give me a minute to check. In his favor again, I can see from here. Grill crew will love that. <laughs> Renick will love it even more. You're telling them. I told them last time. This one's all yours. Oh, ah. Wait, what? How did I fall? All right, Roper, what's the problem? <coughs> we usually see you down here. Ah, Drill's acting up this morning. Got the crew running around like blue ass flies, but they cannot make head or tail of it. Is that used behind schedule then? Oh, no, not yet. And uh, not if the gods are smiling on us. So mere fuck than ever. Poor as fucked as you by the sounds of it. You better get up there. The boss man sounds raging. Well, how long will that 
Shy. Orders in, but might be two, three weeks before it's shipped, like. I can patch it, but we'll need to keep an eye. Maybe say a prayer and all. Seems like we keep doing yours. Alright. Is that that I don't want to... Stay on the path, mate. That cargo hoist will crush you if you get close. Okay. Well, the coolest right here. We're clear it! Jesus, Scooby. Give me a heart attack. Oh, sorry, mate. Can I ask a wee favour? Whether you need scoop. Oh, could you do me a quick fix on the crew lift fuse box while you're down there? I need bother. Oh, you're a lifesaver, mate. And don't let the big man get you down, all right? Thanks, pal. All right. And that's funny, too. I'm getting an achievement as he's talking, and I'm trying to, like, speak. I can't. All right, let's see. But, yeah, that's kind of cool that we were able to do that. Because, like I said, we don't really have many games like this that really do special things. So, for us to be here on the oil rig in the middle of the ocean, and for us to actually play a game this detailed, or not, we don't really have any game compared to this. Because if you look at certain games that have, like, ships in them, you don't really go on the ship or do anything critical. The ship is like bare bone naked. So like now we have like a whole section game now that actually takes place this way. You know? So, let's go ahead and see. Well, here we fucking go. Enter! Ah, Mr. McQuarrie. So glad you could join me and sorry to have got you out of bed. Shut the door and have a seat. Oh, I'm fine, Stan. Sit your ass in that chair, you fucking liability. But I don't... I run a tight ship. Do you understand me? A tight ship. Technically, it's not a ship. Shut your gub, you Ned prick! I am sick, sick to fucking bunk on a UE gub site's messing with my operation. That chef might be a mate of yours, but he does not run things around here. I do. Do you understand me? All right, why don't you just get on with it? Don't you answer me back! You might be the height of shite on shore, McClary, but out here, I am the fucking king. Do you understand me? You bring the polis to my door, to my rink. Uh, I, I can sort this, right? I just need time. Shut it, you. Clatty gobshite. Well, here's a man who can make a more positive contribution to this operation than you. Well, I know Shut it! I'm in a meeting. What? For fuck's sake, Gibbo, I don't care. We're on a schedule. It's a fucking drill. You've got a fucking drill, so drill through it. Yeah, well, Roper's a whiny old fud. He's got a problem with everything. I don't care if it feels half. Just fucking do it! Or I'll come down there myself! Is that uh, trouble with the missus? You're fired. You hear me? Fired. Uh, come on, man. It's only a wee bit of trouble with the polis. I'm good with the lecky. I keep things running. You said it yourself. Ouch! Get off my rig! Aye. Happy New Year to you too, you cunt. All right, it's a helicopter, <laughs> which is where? Where's the helipad? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> like, where's the helipad? Oh, so much for a good New Year. Wait, we gotta go around. Well, no more running for you guys. Wait, isn't oh no, we're not underneath the oil rig. Safety check for the helipad. Yeah. Cause you're supposed to go underneath the ship as you seen in the beta or in the gameplay. You can't see it, but this looks dope. It looks too bright on the recorder. Just 
going on? Fuck! 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 Whoa! Christ, but you're a right pair. Two bars and a ball bag. Now listen, Pat. I promise I'll take care of him. I had a word with our Kieran, you remember him? He knows Billy Chamberlain from way back. Owes me a favour. Reckons you can sweeten Billy up a bit. Come on. Have I ever let you down? Right, you lost the cake at the wedding. N now then, now then. That, that wasn't my fault. You left it on a bench at Argyle Street. Aye, you were that bloated you didn't even remember baking the cunt. Oh, my children, that was before the light of the Lord came to me. Here we fucking go. Uh, and you, Mr McCleary, you can fuss and cuss all you like. But perhaps if you went to the Saracens a little less and the Tabernacle a little more, then perhaps you'd not be in this pickle, eh? Hey? Don't look at me. You're the one who decided to spend the next four months trapped on our egg with this bamfort. Susan, I promise you, I promise you, we will get this straightened out. I will. You'd better. Why does this intro feel like prototype? Guys! Christ! He's got gold! Shit! Guys! Get it, Blake! We can't leave him out here! Move! Fuck! Guys! I think he's dead! Uh, we got you, man, alright? We got you! He's breathing, thank Christ! Guys! Come on! Wake up, guys! Why is he not waking up? Can you hear me? Is he gonna die, Brody? <laughs> All right. Something happened on the oil rig. Guys, I need your help here. Oh wow. Oh, so you have to hold it. You can't actually climb the ladder without holding right trigger. have to figure out how to raise the, the lift uh, right we gotta raise the lift to uh, the dive bell we have to get him out That's it. Come back and winch up the bell now. I like how in performance mode everything is good except for the cords here they're swinging like they're cartoonish yeah, playing in performance mode does help, but it makes other things low textured. What's going on, Brody? What happened? Don't know. The drill hit something. An air pocket or gas explosion. Nobody knows. But whatever it was, it was big. <laughs> you are lucky. Trust me. Douglas is trying to find out more. Like if the bear is even safe now. What's wrong with Raffs? I don't know, all right? Decompression shouldn't have been as bad. Oh, I shouldn't have let him go down there. I said I'd look after him. 
I'm here, Ross. It's pro day. I'm going to get you out. Uh, is there anything more I can do? No, I'll get him. We need to know what's going on up top. You'll need to go through engineering. The way up is blocked from here. Where's engineering for here? I've never been doing this end before. The only way you'll get there is to go under the rig. There should be a clearer path down there. All right. I'll head down now. I feel like something else is in there with him. I suggest, Brody, you don't open that uh, pod. I think something's in there with him. Yeah, we might not see him again. <laughs> Alright, so this is where the game was when they showcased the game because, hold on, is this the area? Yes, this is it. Under the rig. I think we're already there. Alright, we get to see. So the four different legs for the oil rig in the middle area is the drill. And then you have the dive deck. <laughs> oh no, this is where it is. Yes, right here. This is it. This is where you start off in the demo. If you've seen the gameplay vid. No way through. If you've seen the gameplay vid, this is where this is the angle where it starts off in a way. So you go this way. And the developers were showcasing the game. You don't really go anywhere, any other way. So you don't go this way. So this way wasn't shown in the demo. Wait, am I stuck? Okay. Um, I'm confused. Okay, I think I have to get a little running start. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, this is the area that they showcased when they were announcing the game. Still wakes the deep. Yeah, remember the ocean waves and everything from this part. This is where they were showing the game and how to, like, performance. They, I think they were playing it in performance mode, too, by the way. So this is how they did it. Yes. Just like Cloverfield. Yep. So this is where it was. But the game effect right there didn't show anything like that when we first saw the gameplay. So they just showcased that thing with the drill. So whatever that is that came up from the drill from the bottom basically came up and broke this part of the drill and destroyed the, the oil rig. Why is my controller not vibrating? There's no vibration for the game? Or my controller battery is probably dead. Let me check real quick. Yeah, it's almost dead. That's why. <laughs> uh, we're just going to play for a little bit till the notification pops up where I need to change the battery. I put regular AA batteries in the Xbox controller, but I got the power brick on the charger. See, I'm always prepared. I just haven't had a chance to use regular batteries in a while. All right. Turn off the fire. All right. There you go. Now we can press it. I may not change the batteries. I right, now give me a quick second to do this. 
not going to take long. I just don't want you guys to sit here and see just a blank screen and stuff like that. Just change the batteries, give me the power brick since the batteries are low. Uh, yeah, no, take this one. I have the other power brick on the charger too, but the thing is, though, that one I was gonna use instead, but I changed my mind to go back to using this one. Alright. There you go. Yep, and the controller feels heavy. Yeah, because if you never notice, when you use batteries or you use like a thing for the Xbox controller, people don't realize that parts of the c controller, when you put new batteries or anything in, it basically uh, makes the controller feels heavy or brand new. Yeah, no, there is vibration. So I wasn't feeling any vibration because the batteries were low. That's funny. Now there's vibration. Alright, so let's go. We're almost there. Almost there. Can't go through that door. It's a good thing I knew to press that to jump. No. Bro, I died. Because I couldn't understand what to do there because it didn't say anything. It popped up the notification stuff last second for me to do what I needed to do. Okay. Shite. Alright, let me see the controls again for that part right there because it literally made me controller. Press A to jump. Yeah. And then press right trigger to climb. No, not go back to the main menu. Alright, there you go. So I had to keep holding right trigger and then press and hold left trigger for a last quick minute uh, thing. Oh, fucking hell. Just get out of this. Better have some strong arms to do this. Wait, we gotta go this way? Oh, no, no. I thought there was like a ladder on that side. Like, we had to keep climbing up. Alright, we made it. Enter engineering. So this is probably where they showcase all that stuff from the gameplay trailer when they first announced the game. leg C. Climb through the leg to get to the exit. What is that? That's where we have to go, but we have to go down to go up. And whatever's down there, it's came it came from the ocean. Only cares about Uncle Sam and getting the rig back up and running. Yeah, you don't care about your people that work for you. Is this Deep Water Horizon 2? But imagining it as a game? <laughs> Whoa. 
bold right trigger to climb walls. Okay. Oh, there you go. I was just figuring out like what what did it mean by holding right trigger to climb when I'm going along a ledge. Something useful. Alright. Oh, that's how flashlights were back then? The mining. I don't know that's how flashlights were back then for mining. I'll press Y to turn on the flashlight and turn it off. I like how it's pitch black. I can see where I'm going for like a split second. Oh, Jackie Chan. I just heard a sound behind me and that wasn't from the game. Alright. Is that <clears throat> I'm going to turn my flashlight off just to be safe. Something on the other side of that door just touched that door. Focus on audio right now. Clear it. Guys, over here. Jesus, Finley. You alright? Tell me why you've seen a ghost. Who's making that noise? Gibble. He's making that racket. You should be no find him. Help him. No. I going to recommend that. What does that mean? That means he's no alright. After that explosion, he got oil or some shit on him and just. I don't know. He freaked out. Went for me. He's still out there. You mean out here? As in out here with me? Aye, that's exactly what I mean. Oh, that's just fucking brilliant. You seen anyone else? I just go here. Where are you going anyway? Back to accommodation. Listen, you'll have to get through the water tanks to get up to accommodation. And quiet like. Gotta go all the way up there. Jesus. And what about Gibble? Stay the fuck away from me. You're listening to me. It's no right, cuz. I'm no arguing. Cars, be fucking careful, eh? Aye, you know. Don't turn the flashlight off. Don't know if he's over there looking. All right, so we gotta get across this area. So let's see. Skate through the water tanks. Use a torch, the flashlight to find a way. But that won't be a problem. This is the 
Skal det åbne? Fuck! Ej. Alright, now we turn the flash light back on. Whoa. What the hell? So wait, do we go that way or that way? So I guess we go this way because we have to send those bows. I keep forgetting you have to press and hold right trigger to climb. <laughs> Came, I think that we should be good. That door's broken, and there's blood on that door. I guess I'm going the right way. I hope. Climb up. Okay. Yeah, I'm going the right way. I'm surprised I figured out how to get through here. Good thing I didn't go the other way. <clears throat> now I'm going to get to the other side of the water tanks. we got to go that way. But I bet you that's where we get to see whatever it is from the trailer that they showcased from the um, demo the developers had showcased. I can use lockers to hide. I can't get this one open. No chance. You gotta be kidding me. Don't tell me this is like alien isolation where I have to hide. I can't defend myself. No. Uh uh.
Okay, good. No, this is the area where we were. I'm just trying to figure out. I'm just trying to figure out slowly where to go. I just like how it gets quiet all of a sudden. like we got out of there to some degree I think bro this is much this is so dope I'm telling you like after seeing that trailer I felt like this was a whole new game that I was waiting for or people were waiting for because like this is something completely different than we normally have I see if there's any lockers because it said I have to hide. Alright, we made it to the other side. Good. I keep going. Turn into something. I swear, if he comes and then start chasing me up the stairs. Oh, sunlight. Finally. Alright, can't go any higher, so that door is the right door. I thought that was music from the game. That's not from the game. That's from uh, outside. Escape engineering. All right. I need to get warm. Jesus. All right. Let's get warm. And after this, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Just for the crew lounge. All right. So when we come back, we're gonna go ahead and find the crew lounge. So it should be good from this point on. Is anyone here? Hello? If there's anybody here, fucking say something. The 
clearly here. Cut. It's O'Connor. I've got Bruce and Fergus with me. You know what's going on? No, but we hit something. You need to get out of there. Don't need to tell me twice. Listen, something's wrong in engineering. It's not safe. We'll go through the leg and come up through the underrick. Rennick, better give the evacuate. O'Connor, you have to go through accommodation. It's all blocked. Do you hear me? O'Connor! Well, that's that. And then we get to look here. We get to see where we need to go to. So engineering is all blocked now. And that's where Gibbs is downstairs in engineering. And he's infected or whatever is affecting him. So we have to get to the other area. And we have to get to the... um, What is it that we have to get to? We have to go to the crew lounge. So the crew lounge is where we were looking at earlier in the beginning. So we have to head to the other side or get to the front area of the ship. So yeah. So in the next part, we're going to go ahead and continue where we left off. And uh, yeah. So hopefully we get to figure out what's going on and figure out what is that stuff that is affecting everybody on the ship. So yeah. It's your boy, Mr. XP. I see you guys in the next one. When we come back, we're going to go ahead and continue where we left off.